because in truth we have been all there is to be and there is a reason that we have been because we are multidimensional because we are everything God is expressed as everything there is possible to be and there's a reason for it there's a reason that there's so many ways of thought and thinking there's a reason we've had so many lifetimes there's a reason that it's not to hang on to one it's to become um, awakened experienced and understanding all well, when I observe uh, myself is um, if you only use words mm -hmm. They will not be heard. Mm -mm. So the trick is obviously to attach a real deep feeling to the words. Otherwise, it's just words. Mm -hmm. To and direct it with purpose is what yeah, you're yeah, saying, right? Feeling. Right, you know, feeling you know, emotion. You say it needs to come from your heart, mm -hmm. but what does that really mean? Right. How does that feel? Right. And I think for males, it is you know, more difficult. Yes. To to feel that, as it took me a long, long time, and I'm still not all, not totally there, um, to attach a feeling and to refrain from just saying words. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes what would help me is to look for an environment which is which support the transition into the world of feeling and to keep me there. Otherwise, they just say something, you know. Something. Right. Like, like the politicians, and they say something, they don't mean it. Uh, and if you don't mean it, it, it just will not be heard, not be answered. Otherwise, every single little prayer that comes from the heart will be heard and answered. You know, I love that you're saying this because there's been so much that's been presented to me lately. I know where males are at right now, and males like you, who we've known have been uh, transitioning for quite a long time and um, verbally expressing their desire to come into their hearts to open their emotional field what I do know Gunter from source light is that the males came on this journey void of their emotional body hmm. the they've probably taken a lot of uh, judgment and shame for that because but there was no other way that's their role that was what how they were made up this is what they've been doing so most of us have laid a lot of energy on that and um, you know constantly put them in a position I was having a conversation with the woman the other day um, there's been so a lot of intolerance with the feminine that men you know he doesn't get it he doesn't know he doesn't feel he doesn't do this he doesn't do that well you know that's again one of those open inclusive beautiful things that we've come here to understand and what could be more in our face than the way it aspects in the male and the female right so to be able to come to a place of, of um, resignation and acceptance with one another and understanding of one another. What, but what is happening with the male now is that they have nowhere to go but to open that emotional body. They are now connecting to it and into the heart. So this is like, I mean, we, we know what, how difficult our journeys are to get our power. Um, you take that and multiply it about a million times and you'll have what the male's going through right now and their fear and their intrepidation and their um, complete lack of understanding what's really going on with them. And um, so what, I, what I've been hearing is that that's a lot why God, I mean, what you're saying needs to be presented to the male, the masculine, so that they can progress with greater understanding, so we can speak their language, so to speak, speak to their hearts, speak to their needs, to their need for unfolding spiritually. I think most of us as females don't know what that is. And I've noticed that there's been all these male spiritual groups that have been coming up supporting the male, right? And it's in its unfolding, in its spiritual group, in drum circles, in finding themselves and getting in contact with their their 
emotional feminine, you know, their type of spirituality, who they are and how they need to express it. And I can't think of anything better. We can try, I'm bringing this up because I think it's really, really important, especially since we're there now and relationship has become something that's difficult. Even if you're in a male, male, female, female relationship, you're still dealing with somewhere in that you're, you're either switching roles, which we do as, as, as male, female. We sometimes one is is the masculine power side of it, and the and takes dominion, and the other, you know, and I don't know why that has to be the dominion side, but you know. So there's this switching back and this interplay all the time as we're coming into this beautiful um, acceptance, you know, this beautiful state of understanding and awareness that it's the differences, it is the polarities that were the gift to us for so, so, so long. And now each of us is trying, is struggling, is working so hard, is trying to, to bring in our wholeness, our balance, our entire being state. And unfortunately, women came in connected to their emotional bodies, the male did not. And I don't know where that happened in, you know, life or in creation or in just the genetic manipulation, I don't know. But um, I was told a long time ago that the, ma that the male finds its balance in the female light. And what, that's, what they were saying to me is not that the woman has it all and they have to come and, you know, you're the leader and all that stuff, although for a while I perceived it that way. What that truly meant is that... Um, it finds its balance when it opens to that which the feminine holds, which is the heart, which is the emotion, which is the love, because they become a fuller, more complete and whole being able to express. Mm -hmm. The problem with the masculine is the suppression of being able to express, like I was saying yesterday. When I got transferred or translated into my father and my brother and my husband and their lack of being able to express their needs and themselves and their, their emotion at me um, and to reach me, I never felt such pain. And it's, I, I think I'm hearing what you're saying about the words, about how meaningful that is and how much you need that. See, women have been doing words for